All right, peace and power, peace and power, everybody. My name is Rob Maat with Revolutionary Broadcasting Group, and I'm here today with a very special guest. I got the one and only Third Side Slim. Everybody, let's give it up for Third Side Slim. We in here. All right, all right. Yeah, man. So, um, you know, we're going to talk about a couple of different things today, man. Um, you know, first of all, I want to say welcome to the show. You know, it's um, an honor to have you here or I whatever. It. I I've been appreciate looking it. forward to this moment. Um, but, yeah, we want to talk about, you know, your music. We want to talk about, you know, saying, you know, where you're from, um, the project you got. Matter of fact, you just had an album come out, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yes. All I dropped right. RBG. All right, all right. RBG. That's a good album. I like that. Um, so we want to definitely want to get into that. Um, I heard a couple of songs. Actually, I've heard the whole album. I was fortunate enough to get that exclusive and other things. Most I really definitely. appreciate that. But anyway, man, so um, talk to me, man. Like, where did the name Third Side Slim come from? All right, first and foremost, man, I'm from Volusia County, Florida, man. That's like Central Florida. That's Daytona Beach area. All right. Um, the city that I'm from is called Deltona. The area in Deltona that I'm in is the third side. Me and my people came up with that name when we was younger and everything like that. And then, you know, the name Slim came from the OG who kind of raised me, so I just threw it all together. I'm, I'm Slim from the third side, so I so I put third side Slim together. All right, all right. I can dig it. I can dig it. Well, shoot, man, that's what's up, man. Um, It's a lot in the name, man. Is that the name you always went by? You know, ever since you've been, you know, rapping, it's always been third side Slim. No, I think I think when I started off, I started off I was like super cool or something like that when I first started <laughs> off or something like that when I was younger and everything. All right. But yeah, All right. you know, you know, as you get older, you um you elevate. All right, dang, I can dig it. Speaking of elevating and everything, um, let's go back. Um, so your last album, what was it? Um, was it? it Ki- yeah, that was Killing Them With Ease. Killing Them With Ease. Okay, that was your last album. And so now, from that album to RBG. You speak about elevating, so let's talk about it, man. So let's just jump right into the album, man. So, like, I noticed a different vibe from Killer Moon East to RBG. Um, it was a different vibe. Like, what happened with that? How did that happen? Um, basically, um, I understand, like, RBG has always been in me. Okay. But I understand the times that we in. It's, it doesn't really permit it or whatever. I mean, I mean, it's shunned upon. Okay. People don't really take it in like that. Okay. So, I mean, I had to catch, I, I have to catch my, um, how do I, how do I put this? I have to catch my people with what they used to. I have to, you know, I have to feed them. I had to feed them what they're, you know, you know, what they're accustomed to and everything like okay. that. And then I gradually feed them that intellectual side. That intellectual side as I go along or whatever. This project right here, RBG, I did I did RBG just to let people know that I can. Okay. That it's in me. Okay. And everything like that. And I just wanted to give some especially with everything that's going on right now in, you know, society with the economy, you know, the elections, all this race stuff going on and everything like that. I had to do something for my people right. and for the cause and let you know, you know, where it is, where I stand with the whole Situation or whatever, because it ain't no black and white with it. Is he? I'm, I'm, I mean, it ain't no gray area. It's either black or white with it. So, all right, all right, yeah, man. Um, one of the things I noticed when you um when I listened to RBG, it sounded like you had been had been doing some reading and everything. Um, one of the one of the one of the songs um you spoke on actually General George Jackson, who was one of my heroes. Um, he had a book called Blood in My Eye, and um you spoke on that actually. For those of you that don't have it, need to go pick it up. This is it right here, Blood in My Eye by General George Jackson. Definitely great read, man. Great read. Most definitely. But um, so it just let me know that, you know what I'm saying, you're revolutionary. Most but, definitely. But gangster. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? So, um, like, how do you think the um, people are actually going to, you know, pick up on that? Like, coming from Killing With Ease to RBG, like, do you, people, do you think the people are going to actually be able to pick up what you're putting down or, or you think it's going to go over their head because I don't know if everybody ain't reading I mean you got a lot of knowledge right here you know what I'm saying but like a lot of people don't read like that so you figure if you give it to them through the music they're going to get it one way or another huh most definitely most definitely that's how that's how I play it and everything like that I figure I figure at this point now the fan base the buzz that I have right now people are so accustomed like like, like the street side is always going to be in me it's always going to be with me or whatever and everything I could drop street music like like that, it's nothing okay. or whatever and everything like that. It's just I just wanted to show the people 
the people who are already, you know, who already fuck with my music, who are already, you know, like my music and everything. Like, like there is an intellectual side. It's not all shoot 'em up, bang, bang, yeah. all kind of other stuff like that. That is reality too. Yeah. That is, you know, you know my reality too type 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 shit or whatever. But I but I need people to understand too that there's different layers to Slim. All right, like an onion, gotta peel that motherfucker yeah, the, back. Like 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 for real. <laughs> yeah, I can dig it. I can dig it. But yeah, man, like you got songs up there, man. Um, the thing I liked about it, it wasn't all, um, you know, like it wasn't all preachy preachy. But you know, what I'm saying you had the gangster side to it. But then you dropped them jewels. You know, you had um song like Black Queen, um, Don't Be Like Me. Um, what was the other one up there? Oh, man. The, the very first song on the... Actually, the last song was the Power to the People. Yeah, Power to um, the People. Shout out Mills, too. Yeah, the the very first song, Heartbroken. Um, the very first song... Shout on the out album, Key. What was, what was the very first one? Was it Come Home? I think the name of it? Yeah, the first track. First track was Come Home. Yeah, yeah. You know, you said something about, um, you know, not watching... You're not gonna watch the people hurt. You're not gonna watch them hurt the people, and you don't want them to hurt you or something, something like that. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't watch that. Me personally, as a black man and everything like that, and I'm speaking to the whole black community or whatever and everything. Put them fucking cell phones down. Respect. Respect. Fuck them cell phones. You feel what I'm saying? Them cell phones ain't solving shit. You mean to tell me you sitting up filming this motherfucker get his fucking brains beat in and shit like that? You feel what yeah, I'm saying? Y'all yeah. be thirty deep out there, and it's only two, yeah. two of them people out there. You feel what I'm saying? Two of them police out there, man. Shit, man. Dog, y'all could beat the shit out that motherfucking man, yeah. dog. Straight up. Real, real. Don't That's let your real. people go out bad like that. You feel what I'm saying? Straight up, let them people beat you. You know what I'm saying? Beat their fucking head in and shoot them and all kind of other stuff. They don't even take cover when they shoot at us. Nah. That lets you know that they ain't scared about shooting us and everything like that. If you feel it, if you feel like somebody's gonna shoot at you what you what you gonna do you gonna take cover exactly you feel what i'm exactly. saying they're just air you out in the broad open yeah they you know what i'm saying the thing is man you know one thing i've i've always told people is um they do that shit because people only gonna do shit like that to you for two reasons either they don't fear you or they don't respect you or Most they don't respect you or they don't fear you exactly you know what i'm saying you're not gonna see anybody just go up to a hornet's nest and just start fucking with them because they hornets gonna come together what? and they're gonna light your ass up <laughs> for real you know what i'm saying so when i heard your album man like those are the type of songs and type of things that like man people need to hear this shit man you know it's, it's not always about you know what i'm saying you know killing each other and you know um the drugs and all this and that the money the cars and all this and that it's it's it's, it's way man that's so small on the scale of everything that's going on everything like like, like you know everything that's going on behind closed doors and everything that's like a speck a crumb and everything like that and so y'all boys need to elevate y'all mind and shit like that yeah word i can dig you feel what i'm saying you do what you got to do to survive and shit i ain't knocking nobody you do what you got to do to survive i understand situations i understand times and everything i understand things are unfair and everything you're already born with two strikes against you if you're black and you're a man and everything i understand you do what you got to do and everything but the object is to do what you got to do and get the fuck up out of it yeah you, you feel what i'm square saying business. so square business yo so um with that being said man um what do you feel about like the current situation, you know, we talked about, you know, the pigs out there, you know what I'm saying, just doing what they want to do, you know, they killing us at ease, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and we just standing around doing nothing. Um, what do you feel about, like, well, I mean, basically I know what you feel about it, but, like, what would you say other than what you think the solution is, basically? What do you, what do you think the solution is as far as, you know, how do we get them to stop doing that? I strike fear in people and everything. It's just like, all right, man, if we talking, if we talking on a certain level and everything, all right, if we talking about men, men, period, respect power. They respect power and everything like that. It's just like, it's just like when you raising a kid or whatever and everything like that. With girls, you could pretty much yell at them. They gonna cry and get, you know, you know, you, you know, get in order and everything. With boys, you gotta fuck them up. Yeah. You, gotta, you, you gotta beat their ass. You gotta do something to let them know, like, I'm not playing with you and everything. You have to strike back. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. That's, how, that's how I honestly feel or whatever and everything. Because them cell phones not solving shit. The protests are not solving shit. They doing whatever the fuck they want to do and everything like that. They man, 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 dog, they running, they running your ass over at them protests. They beating your ass. They pepper spraying you. They hitting you with rubber bullets and doing all kind of other shit or whatever and everything. But you go kill, but you go kill Joe Schmo around the corner. But I ain't thinking about it. You, you know who looked at you the wrong way, or yeah. just because he stay on the he stay on the next street over, he from the he, he from a different hood or whatever. You go kill him for nothing. Yeah. Or kill him over because he said your name in a rap song or did something like that or whatever and everything. I gotta kill him. Yeah. You tripping? Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Take that same anger out on the same people who really you feel what I'm saying like. Get out the car, boy. 
Yeah. You feel what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. All, like, yeah. like, like, like shit, nah. I, ain't. I can dig it, man. I can dig it. But yeah, man, but shoot, I can dig it. So on that note, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm 100% with you. Um, I've been preaching that gospel for a long time. Um, yeah, that's that's a whole another interview, bro. But back to your music, though. Back to your music. So, like, what do you want? To, what do you want from your music, man? Like, what is it that you want? Like, your ultimate goal, like, for your music. Like, what is Third Side Slim's ultimate goal? Same thing like the street gang. Get in and out. In and out. Get my money. Get my money. And invest, you know, you know, you know create generational wealth. Okay. And everything like that. I can't, I can't leave my son the rap game. I mean, I can't, I can't leave him my record label and everything like that, but I can't leave him the rap game. Okay. But I can leave him, you know, titles, deeds, property, all kind of other stuff, you know, investments in stocks, all kind of other stuff and everything like that. When it, you know, when it comes time for me to check out, I can only leave him what's mine. I can't leave him somebody else's. All right. So, so, right, so, 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 so that's my main, that's my main goal. I have, I have a talent to rap, but it's just a stepping stone. I can dig it. I can dig it. it. It's not even the it's not even the final destination. It's just a stepping stone. All right, word. That's respect. So, um, you said you had a son. How was your son? Son is seven years old. Seven. What's up, right. Day Day? <laughs> Day Day, the God number. <laughs> all right, that's actually my son's um rap name, Seven. So yeah, it's a, it's a good good age, good number all the way around. Um, you talk about leaving them some land and stuff. So with the with the music being a stepping stone, you know, that's a great way. You know, what I'm saying to acquire those other things or Most whatever. Definitely. Um, as far as your as far as your team, do you have a um do you have a team of people that you actually um work with on a regular? Um, I have I have well, I have my set of people or whatever, you know, you know, to help with production and everything. As far as like a street team and everything, I don't have a street team, but shout out to the people on social media who do take the time out to share my music and everything like that. Like 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 y'all real and I real I, I really do appreciate y'all. All and right. that's real shit and everything like that. But you know, I have um you know, I'm fucking with you. You feel right. what I'm saying? Revolutionary Respect. Broadcasting Group. Right. Shout out to y'all for having me and everything Thank like you. that. Um, um, shout out to my uh, engineer, HB. Shout out to the man who always shoot my videos, Jody. You feel what I'm saying? The artists and shit who I normally deal with and everything. Like, I pretty much get in with people and I lock in with them. I ain't with all that, you know, bouncing around and all kind of other stuff and everything. Too many heads makes things sloppy. So so, so, so I get in and I lock in and, I, you, you know, I treat my people good. And once they my people and everything, they automatically included in my plan. So when I come up and everything, I'm going to make sure that they straight too. So yeah. that's why I keep my numbers limited and everything like that. I mean, I can't save the world, but I can get some people together. You feel what I'm saying? And we rock and roll. Yeah, I can dig it. Yeah, loyalty, man. That's a big thing. A lot of people don't have that loyalty. You Most know what definitely. I'm saying? And then at the same time, people don't always treat you the way you treat them. You got to be able, you got to be, and, and, and I cutting you off. You got to be able to ride out with a person, man, through the hard times too. But man, shit is not always going to be sweet and everything like that. And especially when you starting things off, man, you got to babysit anything, anything yeah. you have to babysit. I don't give a fuck if you jumping out in the streets, whatever, if you, man, if you trying to grow a garden, if you, man, you have to babysit shit at first <laughs> and everything. You cannot be quitting on people that's really trying to get somewhere and everything like that. You can't be doing no shit like that, man. You can't be doing that. If you gonna rock out with somebody, you rock out with them, man. Through the hard times, through the good times, whatever and everything. If you if you ain't built for the, you know, if you ain't built for the rain, don't expect the sun. I can dig it. Shoot, how long how long you been um how long you been actually doing this, man? How long you been rapping? Like, do you your portfolio? What it look like? Um, um, well, I've been taking it serious. I've been taking it serious for like two years now. I've been okay. taking it serious for like two years now and everything like that. Um, um. How many albums, mixtapes? Um, as of right now, as of right now, it's four mixtapes, four albums. Um, I think it's like thirteen singles. No, twelve. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's up there. Twelve, thirteen singles. Two two with major two with major um artists. Wow. Um, like thirteen, fourteen videos or something like that or whatever, and that's been achieved in two years. In two years. So that in two years, I put out eight projects. That's with no help. Um, no help. I mean, as far as pretty much you're doing it all independent, what I'm saying? Yeah, independent. No help. No help whatsoever wow. and everything. You feel what I'm saying? No management, no deals, no anything like that. You feel what I'm saying? Just dedication and hard grind. You feel what I'm saying? Straight up. Man, you don't know how many times, man, straight up I hit the house, man, bust up. And, 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 I'm, and I'm speaking in metaphors. Okay. I, I reached the house, bust up. My motherfucking knees scraped up. My motherfucking knuckles scraped up. I got gash on my head. I'm fucked up. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Chasing my goals. But... Yeah. 
I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get out there and I'm gonna keep chasing them. And bl blisters on your feet and from I'm, them rock ass rolls. I'm telling you, man, <laughs> straight up, man. Yeah, fucking um, they gonna pain in your, ne your neck and everything from carrying them heavy ass loads and shit. I'm yeah, I can, you. I can dig it. I can dig it. Shoot, man, that's what's up, bro. Um, so with all that, man, like, what's next, man? Like, what's what's next? Like, are you? Um, RBG, RBG was my last, was my last project that I was going to try to do, um, um, you know, just, just, just me by myself and everything. I feel, I feel like now at this point, I don't re I, I got a strong enough portfolio where I can, um, where I can step to the majors now and everything in my bargaining chip. Like I got leverage, like, 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 like they can't just pimp me or just tell me, you no. Know, like you got to really consider what it is that I got going on. You feel what I'm saying? So, excuse me. What's the name? So, um, so yeah, man. So, so my, my my main thing right now is hitting up them labels and everything. I got California. I got business over there in California. I gotta go do. I gotta go over there to um, underground hip hop blog. You feel what I'm saying? I gotta go. Shout over out there. to underground hip hop. You feel what I'm saying? I gotta go over there. I gotta um, shoot a couple videos over there. And while I'm over there, I'm trying to go ahead and fall off in the um, fall off in a uh, couple labels and everything and politic with the labels and see what's going on. Then after that, it's New York. And then after that, we um falling off to Atlanta. All right, all right. So you on the, you on the move and everything? Yeah, man. I got I I I got all my chips in order now and everything like that. Got my own record label. Got my own merchandise and all kind of other stuff like that. You feel what I'm saying you can do it by yourself. It's hard. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna sit up here and tell you it's easy or anything like that. But you can do it by yourself and everything, man. It's just hard work and dedication. You got to decide what what you want out of life and everything like that. For me, it, it, I mean, it ain't nothing. What, stay out in the streets and get killed? Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Go to prison or whatever and everything like that, man. Rap is the quickest, it, rap is the most efficient way. My God-given talent that I got, that I see that I can achieve some major money right. and everything like that without hitting the bank or doing, you know what I'm saying, doing some stupid-ass shit and getting my ass killed or something yeah, like yeah. that and everything. So that's what I'm you, going for. You speak of prison and everything. Have you ever done prison? No, I done, I done, I done, I've done a few jail, um, jail bids or whatever. But you know, you know, thanks to God's mercy and everything like that, I ain't had to, I ain't have to do no prison time and everything. I had, I had some, uh, a couple close shades, real close shades, like PBL charges and everything, trials, all, okay. all kind of other stuff like that and everything like that. But luckily, no, I'm not a convicted felon and shit. All right, that's good, that's good. All right, but shoot, man, anything else you want to tell the people, man? Like, you know, anything else? Like, if you. Before we, yeah, one thing I want to know, um, if it, for the youngsters, for the young jits coming up in the rap game, what advice would you give them? That's the first question. Second question is, what would you give your younger self as far as advice? Advice to the jits and advice to your younger self. Advice to the jits. Advice to the jits, man, straight up. Um... All right, if I can give you one piece of information, hold on, man. What I'm, what I'm gonna give y'all? Man, don't believe the camera all the time. Mm. Don't get fooled by that camera. Straight up. What you mean by that? Do not get fooled by the camera and everything. A lot of the people and everything that y'all be aiming to be, them people be real deal fuck niggas. Mm. Fuck niggas and shit like that, straight up. I ain't saying no names or anything like that, man, straight up, man. But doing this rap shit, I done tapped in with some bigger names and shit like that, man, straight up, man. Like, like these niggas is green as fuck, man. These niggas ain't nothing like how, like, 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 like how they be portraying and shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? Straight up. So, man, don't get fooled by the camera and everything like that. All right. And then advice to your younger self? Calm your motherfucking attitude down. Be patient. <laughs> Be patient. Oh shit. Be okay. patient, nigga. Calm the fuck down. Alright. Stop all right. getting so damn mad. Alright, alright. Well shoot, I can dig it. Shoot, man. Um shoot, back to RBG, man. Um before we get up out of here, but back to RBG, what is your favorite song on that album? Ooh. Ooh. There's so many good ones on there, man. Alright, I'll give you three. Your top three. Top three, okay. Um, In no particular order, just the top the, the three songs on that album that you riding with the most. I'm fucked up about that black kettle. Black kettle, I like that one. I'm fucked up about black kettle. Um, shout out hit a lick too. Um, that heartbroken. I'm fucked up about that heartbroken too. 
You feel what I'm saying? Straight mm-hmm. up. Shout, 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 shout out Slick Key. All right. Um, and, man, it's hard, man, straight up, because I'm, I'm fighting between opportunity and gift of gab. Mm. Um, ooh. All right, fuck it. I'll give you four. <laughs> man, all right, them two I'll right there, man. Four. Shout out Houdini and Real T. That's real, boy. That nigga <laughs> saved me, boy. I'll give you four. I'll give you four. <laughs> Yeah, with me, man, I'm going to have to say, um, if I was to take three off of RBG, I would probably have to say, as far as the solo joints, and I believe it was solo, if I can, if I remember correctly, and it's just because of the type of music I like, I would have to go with, um, mm, mm, number one, in no particular order, number one would probably be Black Queen because I love my Black Queen, so I got to get that number one. Most definitely, most definitely. And so, and then it would be between Heartbroken and Be Like Me, I think, because of the message. That's real. Yeah, the, I respect yeah, that. Yeah, the message was just so, like, it was so powerful, man. Like, you know, I could, I could just picture that. It's like a movie, you know what I'm saying? Like, actually, your album, actually, your album could be a whole movie. You know what I'm saying? Your whole album, could you could you could actually take that album and make a movie with the whole album. Not just one video, not individual videos. It's like a motion picture album yeah. type shit. You, you could take every song on that motherfucker and you can put them together and make it blend into a movie. That would be some shit. I never thought about it like that or whatever. Man, that would be some shit, though. You, you ought to think about it. You know what I'm saying? Because that would be super dope because the way you did it, man, and the knowledge in the album is is necessary, man. You know, like yeah. right now, you know, with what's going on in the world, you put a lot of stuff out there that people could actually use and utilize, man, and there's a lot of messages in that album that people could actually, you know, prosper from. You know what I'm saying? So instead of just giving them a video here, a video there, you could take two or three of them and put like a little small mini series type movie joint together. That'd be super dope. Um, not many people doing that shit. So just something to think about. Most definitely you know and everything. And 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 also too speaking of um speaking of um you know videos and everything like that. It's been it's it's been a few people or whatever who I've spoken to and everything like you know talking about short films and stuff like that. So don't be surprised, man. You see me on like a little short film right. or something like All that right. or anything like that. I'm I'm looking forward to that too. All right. So so you do a little acting. Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm not um, Broadway or anything okay. like that. I don't want to toot my horn and say I'm but Broadway. But you're open to it. Yeah, yeah, but I'm open to it. Like, like, like right now, like street levels, drama, um, drama, anything like that, man. Some comedy shit, man. I could probably, I, I, I could rock out with that. All right, all right. But well, shoot, man, that's what's up, man. Well, um, yeah, we gonna wrap it up, man. But um. Like I said, I'm glad you came out. You know what I'm saying? It's an honor to have you on the show or whatever. I appreciate you having um, me. So, is there anybody else that you want to shout out before we up out of here? Uh, shout out to my wife. Shout out to my son. Um, shout out to everybody who support me and everything like that, man. Shout out to God for his mercy. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Straight up. All right. All right, everybody. Once again, I'm Rob Maat with Revolutionary Broadcasting Group. I'm here with Third Side Slim with Third Side Records, and we out. And die before a shoot and crackers say I iron slain. There's some niggas so lost in this world they'll murder me. Crackers say they got a tree to hang me from and dirt me. Now tell me what my peace of mind in the wind when I talk to God or oh, I hold this stick. If I ain't had these pesos, shit, I probably wouldn't even have a bitch. Now what I did to this world to make it hate me so much. I spit these lyrics with the truth. Let's see how many lies I could touch. I'm crying inside, but I swear I got a show face. What I'm supposed to stand aside with well, you people climbing to fame my race. You got me fucked up, cause I swear to God we better than that. I know we more clever than that, and I'm just telling you facts. I get tired of preaching, teaching, Lord, take me now, forgive me for my sins and how this lifestyle came about. I'm heartbroken, head hurting, that's for certain. Everybody got their purpose, but so many out here feeling worse. I keep on pushing. I ask you to turn these tears a blessing, God. I'm trying to do right, but I gotta survive. I'm stressing, God. I'm heartbroken, head hurting, that's for certain. Everybody got their purpose, but so many out here feeling worse. I keep on pushing. I ask you to turn these tears a blessing, God. I'm trying to do right, but I gotta survive. I'm stressing, God. My shoulders got a nigga stressing. Hard time got me thugging, not your little.
living reckless. Seem like the evils of the world always trying to test me. It's even harder when it seems like no one there to help me. But I toast up another day as I count my blessings. Trying to do right, but my wrongs always seem to catch me. Two time felon, but my hands on my weapon. Police killing us, so who the fuck is supposed to help us? Ain't never heard about a fireman getting shot. Imagine dying on the ground, all you see is cops. Another black life gone by the hands of troll. Another mother, child, or father that ain't coming home. When the shit gon' change, seem like nobody know. Steady calling on God, but he ain't got a phone. Why my people gotta suffer, feel like we all alone? Why some people live good while we struggle alone? I'm heartbroken, head hurting, that's for certain Everybody got their purpose, but so many out here feeling worse I keep on pushing, I ask you to turn these tears a blessing God, I'm trying to do right, but I gotta survive I'm stressing, God, I'm heartbroken, head hurting, that's for certain Everybody got their purpose, but so many out here feeling worse I keep on pushing, I ask you to turn these tears a blessing God, I'm trying to do right, but I gotta survive I'm stressing, God